Is Wyoming even real? Sometimes my job as a realtor consists of house hunting, contract writing, negotiations, and problem solving. Other times my job is all about answering questions. Hi, I'm Alicia Collins with the Alicia Collins Real Estate Team, and every day my team and I get asked some great questions and some crazy questions about Wyoming. This video is spurred on by a few of those questions that we've recently received, like, is Wyoming even real? So what are some myths that we can bust about Wyoming? Number one, is it true that we don't have electricity and water, like indoor plumbing? Now, of course, there are some areas that don't have these amenities, such as some vacant plots of land, some mountain cabins, or other areas that are considered more off-grid. However, most of the state is fully equipped with both electrical and plumbing. We tend to save the outhouses for big events or construction sites. They are typically not for our homes. I mean, I just got hot and cold running water this morning. Electricity is available most everywhere too, pretty much. Of course, there are some places where there aren't power lines nearby, such as deep in the country or way up in the mountains. In these instances, you might find solar power or windmills. However, most places like that are not lived in year round and tend to be used seasonally. Either way, I am fully able to plug my coffee maker in and brush my teeth every morning that I wake up in this beautiful state. Thank goodness because I need those things. Myth number two, do we ride our horses everywhere? You know, I would love it if this one were true, but I'm busy enough that the time I have available in my life does not allow that. You may be surprised to hear Wyoming has cars and trucks and even motorcycles. You may even be more surprised to hear that there are people here, yes, here in Wyoming that have never ridden a horse ever. This still shocks me sometimes. Now, there are plenty of horses and opportunities here in the state for riding, but just like running, it isn't for everyone. Yes, even in Wyoming, in today's modern society, riding horses is more of a lifestyle than it is a means of transportation. Believe it or not, we actually load up our horses in a trailer and drive them to wherever we want to ride, sometimes hours away. Can you imagine what our ancestors would think of that? They probably would have never believed that one day we would be traveling any other way besides horses. What do you think? Myth number three, is everyone in Wyoming really a cowboy or a cowgirl? While Wyoming is known for having a strong ranching and cowboy culture, not everyone who lives here is involved in these activities. Wyoming is a diverse state with people from a huge variety of backgrounds and professions. Some residents have never even stepped foot on a ranch or put a cowboy hat on. I know that shocks me too. I myself have friends that don't even own a pair of cowboy boots. What? I asked somebody this week and they didn't. So while the cowboy stereotype is part of the state's identity, it doesn't define the entire population. I would argue, however, that cowboy ethics and way of life are in fact a part of pretty much everyone who lives here. So no, not everyone is a cowboy or a cowgirl, but most of us live by the cowboy code. Myth number four, isn't Wyoming all flat and barren? I crack up about this myth because in some parts of our state, it can seem like there is nothing for miles and miles. Looking across the Great Plains can make you feel this way for sure. While Wyoming does have its share of prairies and plains, it also boasts stunning mountain ranges like the Grand Tetons and the Wind River Range, along with beautiful national parks and forests. In fact, right here in Casper, for instance, we are just a few minutes away from our very own Casper Mountain, where we can hike, ski, camp, and do all the mountain things. There are even bears up there. Wyoming is such a picturesque place, and the mountains are certainly a part of the beauty of the state. Myth number five, Wyoming is part of the Midwest, right? Well, actually, no, it isn't. Geographically speaking, Wyoming is often considered part of the Western United States, not the Midwest. The Midwest typically refers to states like Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio. Of course, we just talked about Wyoming having varied landscapes, but most of us in Wyoming consider ourselves to be part of the Western Plains. Although Wyoming is often clumped in with states like Montana and Colorado in reference to where they are located in the United States, I have even heard people ask why we don't have Southern accents here in Wyoming. And well, I guess it's probably because Wyoming isn't in the South. Myth number six, is Wyoming always cold and covered in snow? Okay. Yes, Wyoming has cold winters, like right now. And yes, there are oftentimes snow, like right now, especially in the mountains. But we also experience warm summers. The climate varies across the state, with some areas being milder than others. But look, 
It's January right now, and there really isn't tons of snow. In fact, this year we haven't had much snow at all. Myth number seven, is it true that all of Wyoming is windy? This is a hot topic, always. Wyoming is known for its strong winds in some areas, particularly in the southeastern part of the state. But not every corner of Wyoming is constantly windy. The wind patterns vary across the state. Some places rarely experience the wind at all, and some seasons tend to have very little wind. The winter is probably the windiest here in the state, but the summers are most pleasant and calm, lacking the huge gusts that make us famous, of course. Some areas are very windy. If you ever talk to a semi-truck driver, I am certain they would have some crazy stories to tell you about driving through Wyoming on the interstate on those windy days. Myth number eight, I've heard there's nothing to do in Wyoming. Is this true? What? This one gets me because I've lived in Wyoming almost all my life, and I can't remember the last time I was bored. Wyoming offers a wide range of outdoor activities, including hiking, skiing, snowmobiling, hunting, fishing, and wildlife viewing. It also is home to several cultural attractions, museums, and historic sites. A real shocker to those who think we're living out the little house on the prairie life might be that we actually have awesome events here regularly from concerts to rodeos broadway plays to festivals there is always something to do and you know we have stores here as well and who doesn't love shopping myth number nine so is the entire state covered in national parks while wyoming is home to some incredible national parks like yellowstone and grand teton these parks only cover a portion of the state. Wyoming is home to the very first national park, Yellowstone National Park, which is super cool. Wyoming is home to many firsts, actually. First state park, first woman governor, first state to allow women to vote. Oops, I digress. Anyway, off topic, down a rabbit hole. Much of Wyoming consists of privately owned land or land that is part of other public lands like national forests and BLM land. Although it's worth mentioning, while we are talking about national parks and especially Yellowstone National Park, Yellowstone National Park is not a petting zoo. The rangers don't lock up the animals at night and people think they can pet the animals, especially the buffalo. This is super crazy and super dangerous. Despite warnings at every turn, each year someone makes this mistake and gets hurt or killed. National parks are wild places places to go and enjoy nature, not places that have become domesticated. The animals that live there are most certainly wild. Another fact that I find interesting is that a huge portion of Wyoming's population hasn't even been to Yellowstone National Park. And at number 10, the final myth on this list, Wyoming is kind of a lawless frontier, right? While Wyoming has a rich history rooted in the Old West, it's a modern state with laws, governances, and a legal system like any other U.S. state. It's not a wild and lawless frontier as portrayed in some of the movies and stories. I am sure it was at some point, back when the Wild Wild West was won, when there were outlaws and the railroad was being constructed, but today there is no lawlessness in our state. Interestingly enough, we are in the top two states with the most guns owned per person in our country. Statistics say that while Montana has the highest number of gun owners, Wyoming has the most guns per capita with 245.8 firearms for every 1,000 residents. You might think it's a dangerous and lawless place to be. But in fact, the top five states for gun ownership in the United States compromise only 0.8% of the nation's firearm-related homicides. If you are looking for some wild, wild west, there are certain areas in the state that do some reenactments of gunslingers and bank robberies. But as far as lawlessness and wild, wild west, that's the best you're gonna get. It is true that we get asked some of these questions. There's a lot of crazy misconceptions about Wyoming. But listen, Wyoming offers a unique and appealing lifestyle. It's super fun debunking common myths associated with the state. While some may perceive Wyoming as solely defined by its cowboy culture, the reality is that we have a diverse and vibrant community. From the breathtaking landscapes, from the majestic Yellowstone National Park, to the towering peaks of the Rocky Mountains, the state provides unparalleled opportunities for outdoor enthusiasts. Wyoming's low population density ensures a sense of tranquility and a close-knit community feel fostering genuine connections among residents. It's my favorite part of everything. The state also enjoys a relatively low cost of living and no state income tax, making it financially attractive. Beyond the misconceptions, Wyoming's blend of natural beauty, community spirit, and economic advantages make it a compelling choice for those seeking a high quality of life. And yes, we do have cars. Comment below and let me know what your favorite myths are. 
about Wyoming. And did I bust a myth that you actually had? Of course, these aren't all the myths out there, but these are some of my favorite. It's always fun to hear how people view my favorite state of Wyoming. Don't forget to like and subscribe and send me those myths. I love to hear from all of you. We love talking to you on the phone and in the comments. We have time for you. My team and I would love to help you find a home in the Casper area. We do service the surrounding areas as well. And if we don't service that area, we would love to find you the perfect agent. As always, I want you to love where you live. See you soon.